Tonight is an historic night at Alphond Arena. And who better for it to be against than their border battle rival, the New Hampshire Wildcats. Playoff hockey is underway at Alphond Arena. Poke free there by Donovan Houle. Back to Chabrier. Lesikowski waits, shoots, saved by Helston. Josh Nadeau poked away nicely by Gagne. Leclerc, good play for Conmi, saved by Boya. The rebound's loose. Boya able to keep it out on the try by Cy Leclerc. It's UN8, no icing here. Race one by Scott. Looks to center for Hool, save Helston. Rebound shoots it in. It's Lesikowski first to it. Freel looking to turn it up ice. Can't, the quick turn and shoot by Turner. Stopped by Boya. Instead, it's Conmi bringing in. Leading scorer is a freshman. Good play there, tried to go between his legs. Come the Wildcats, Lavins brings in, goes wide with it, saved by Boya on that try. It looked like by Luke Reed, the defenseman, who plays it back toward the net. Now another try, Boya with the glove save. First to it, UNH is gonna get a clean breakout. Harrison Blaisdell enters the zone. One goal in all three games against Maine this year. Puts it on Boya, who stops it. First on it, though, is Jensen. Donovan Houle picks it up on his backhand to his forehand, looking for Scott, the shot's too high. Able to get a glove on the rising shot. That was going to miss the net. UNH gets it, and that one off the underside of the bar by Conmey and stayed out. And New Hampshire kills off the rest of the penalty and will head to the dressing room scoreless. And the first two, it was Brandon Holtz. Bradley Nadeau looked to turn it out, couldn't do it. It was turned over to Cronin, shot by Devlin, stopped by Boya. Kind of up high, kind of stung him. Bradley Nadeau, now ahead of the play, SCORE! The Black Bears break on the board first, and it's Josh Nadeau! Bradley feeding Josh all alone. Slot, beautiful shot and beats Helston first time. He's been beat in a long time. Beats him glove side, puts Maine up on top of one or nothing. Black Bears seeking their first trip to a conference semifinal since 2012. Oh, Harrison Scott got that one across and the shot is missed by Arnott. And he turns it over. Josh Nadeau enters. Josh on the right wing fires the shot that misses. Brazil. Plays in, funny hop off the glass as Friel ripped down by Jensen. Out front, Helston with a great save on Houle. A little more than five minutes played in the second. Long pass connects with Liam Devlin. His shot stopped by Boya. Rebound turned to the outside by Arnott. Devlin again tried to work in front. Holt poked it away and Boya stopping the shot from the tight angle. Winters. In comes Maine again. Renwick behind Lesikowski. He'll go get the carom off the boards. Josh Nadeau for Bradley. That one blocked. Another try. Renwick on the backhand. It ended up going wide. Josh again. A save by Helston. Down low to Houle. Donovan Houle. Left circle. Works it to Holt for the shot. Big carom as it missed. Josh Nadeau to Bradley. Bradley. Wheels and gives to Chabrier. Breen, right circle. Chabrier out top. Breen, one time. Nadeau, save, rebound, score! Ben Poisson! Power play goal! 2 0 Maine! And uh, they work the puck down low, back to the middle of the ice. There's Harrison Scott there to uh, get the rebound. It just lays there. He's able to maintain body position. Stay on his feet around the UNH defenders. And he gets rewarded for getting to the paint. Maine extends the lead two to nothing on the power play. He'll ride the dasher and head out to neutral ice. Interception by Hool. He'll come in. Donovan Hool looking for Bradley Nadeau. Good breakup though. Maine has its top unit on. This was the unit that scored. Poisson's on the doorstep. He got stopped by Helston. Back across to Bradley Nadeau. Didn't get it cleanly, and Helston stopped it. Scott right side. 17 seconds on the power play. They got it across looking for a tip by Friel. It got broken up. Now Scott wants it. He shoots it. It's blocked down. Another try is over top. Braston's taken away from him by Brazil. Main transitions quickly. It's Hool dragging middle. Poked away from him and it almost bounced in the open side. Lindner looking for Blaisdell. 
Not get it out as it banked off Renwick to Josh Nadeau. Now Bradley scores! Means up 3-0. But from there, it's just tic-tac-toe. They find the open guy on the right side. That's Bradley. Watches Josh. Finds him driving on the right wing side. Puts Maine in control. Up 3 to nothing. Looks like no review coming, so this goal is going to stand, but great job by Maine to keep that puck alive in the offensive zone because... Robert Cronin on the puck again. He'll come down the left wing side. He'll shoot it. Looked like Antonacci got a touch on it to knock it wide. Well defended. Antonacci just gets a piece, as you said, Jeff. Whoa, Jensen through traffic that pinballed from Boya's right to his left. He still makes... Play by Jensen to get back. Gagne, an interception there by Bradley Nadeau. Here comes Josh! A save by Helston. Up, Josh does, but it was knocked away from him there nicely by Blaisdell. But in comes Maine again. Josh to Bradley. Renwick picks it up on the backhand to Josh. Back to Renwick. <laughs> Couldn't pull it backhand. Wow, that one almost <laughs> pinballed off Gagne. One too many in the passes. Net. And Leclerc got spun around. Boya kept it out as the second period comes to a close. This game has certainly flipped. It was very even through one and scoreless, but now Maine will take a three goal lead to the third. By Renwick, Josh Nadeau takes the puck. Josh left circle, out to Brazil. Oh, it's stopped by Helston. Hit Blaisdell in the leg with it, it didn't get to Boya. Good job though, and a good step by Reed. Another save by Boya. He'll continue to duel into the corner. Lesikowski has the puck back across to Chabrier, saved by Helston. Turned out to center by Conmey. Breen gets there ahead of Gendron. Lesikowski, bad play there, turned it over to Winters, but Boya is there to stop. Got it to Josh. Josh Nadeau, good weave across, Breen, that one missed. Breen staying out there, double shifting on the power play. Josh Nadeau, save Helston, rebound across the slot. Loose down there, New Hampshire gets it. On the faceoff against Leclerc and won it. Brazil to Antonacci, back to Brazil. One timer, Bradley scores! Bradley Nadeau in change direction. Maine's up by four. First half of the season, Maine wins the faceoff cleanly, as I mentioned. They work the puck to the up high. Antonacci over to Brazil, back to. Bradley for the one-timer. How many? As it's Fitzgerald dropping off for Sardarian. Reed looking to get a shooting lane. That one pinballed around. Didn't get to Boya. Gets it deep. Renwick is next to it. Now it's Cronin in front. Gagne off the outside of the goal for a moment. But here comes New Hampshire two on one. It's Heward. Great back check by Bradley Nadeau to break it up. Yeah, you certainly can. It takes. It takes playing both ends of the ice. Brazil to Scott, but Helston able to shut the door. Bradley Nadeau looks to come out and does. Renwick gets it into the zone. Bradley to Josh, score! Cherry on the Sunday. Maine can skate to Boston. You get Josh involved. He quickly gets it over to or Bradley quickly gets it over to Josh for the one-timer. Seems like most of their goals are scored this way. It's either Josh or Bradley on the... For Hanson, Arnott, across, saved by Helston on the dive. It's been 12 years since Maine fans could make the Raptors ring at TD Garden. You will in 2024. Mark it zero for Alvin Boya. His second shutout of the year, and Maine goes to the Hockey East semifinals. Well, this is just a tremendous playoff win for the Maine Black Bear Bears against your biggest rival, the UNH Wildcats, and it was not close. Took care of business. What a great way to go into the semifinals at the Boston Garden. The Nadeau brothers. They score on the power play a couple of times. I mean, it was just battles, finish checks, net drive. All the things that we talked about were pieces of the game being executed. Black Bears being celebrated by their fans. They get a nice.
nice little victory lap here. As I'm back here with team captain of the infamous Naked Five, Caleb Canders. Caleb, for the people who don't know, explain a little bit about what your role is in Alphonse Arena. Yeah, we just, before a game, we listen to music, we get fired up, we take our shirts off, paint each other up, then we just try and bring as much energy as we can to this amazing arena, fire people up, get the fans going. Uh, it's just a great time, and it's a great time to be a part of Maine hockey. It's quite the honor to be in the Naked Five. Started in 1993, and they've been legends ever since. What's it take to get involved in this? So basically, when a guy graduates or goes on to a next chapter in his life, he'll hand the letter down to someone who shows a lot of Maine hockey spirit, Maine pride, that'll continue the tradition alive and bring a lot of energy back to the outfield. Yeah, so I almost got trampled there when you guys ran the lap for that th fourth goal. I gotta know, is there like a conditioning test or something to get involved? Because I'm not quite sure the Alphonse Arena faithful would want to see me running around with a shirt on. R rigorous training routine every week, 8 a.m. start, before classes, whatever it takes. We're, we're training, we're making sure we're in shape, but we also gotta train our vision so we don't run into people too, so it's a big process.